So I'm dating this woman, and one day she just pipes up, and she says, Hey, you never take me any place expensive. So I thought about it for a second. I said, get in the car. So we drove all the way down to uh, the Chevron gas station where I filled up my car and bought her a hot dog. Listen to me. I've tried so many times to tell you this is as good as I can be. Why isn't it enough to be faithful and also be the hit of the party? Let's just break it down to you and me uptown, dancing all around till the disco ball pops. But I have to be me. Now, we've been very fortunate that the uh, gasoline prices have been historically low lately, but they're going up. I'm going to give you an example of how nuts the fuel prices went up in one month that I was away. Now, this, uh, this actual photo that I'm about to show you is uh, $1.839, and that is at a Fred Meyer gas station in Bellingham, Washington. It's a gas station a lot of Canadians use. Uh, near the airport. It's on the, the uh, north side Fred Meyer, not the south side of town Fred Meyer. So to my odd surprise when I stopped at that exact same gas station in Bellingham at that Fred Meyer, one month later, I filled up for $2.67.9 a gallon. And that's not to say the, uh, the other factor that us Canadians have to deal with is uh, a fluctuating Canadian dollar. And uh, I believe while I was away, the Canadian dollar had collapsed at least a couple percentage points, which uh, factors in more. And another thing that uh, a lot of people don't realize, when you pay for a credit card, when you uh, purchase things abroad outside of your own country, and this applies to Americans if you come up here, your credit card company, if you look at your user agreement, is going to charge you a conversion rate into your currency when you buy something. So tack on upwards of two and a half percent on that conversion. Uh, now some some don't charge you as bad and there there are US dollar based credit cards that Canadians can get which uh, you charge in the US and you pay in the US but those are exceptions. Very few people carry those type of cards but just a point to consider if you do uh, snowboard a lot. Now <clears throat> I can't believe the price of uh, fuel here in Canada has gone up. We were around a dollar. We're like hovering around 99 cents a uh, liter. <laughs> now, a liter, uh, for those of you who aren't fam familiar with the metric system, uh, a U.S. gallon has 3.8 liters, and an imperial gallon, of course, has 4.54. For uh, We used to use the imperial system. In my head, I actually still think of a gallon as an imperial gallon, which is 20% more than the U.S. Uh, you, you, my followers in the United Kingdom, obviously, are quite familiar with an imperial gallon because it's based on... Uh, uh, Her Majesty's uh, measurements. Uh, so um, I just always thought the imperial gallon was a really nice unit of measurement, um, being bigger than the American gallon. And, and, <laughs> and of course, y your car gets more gas mileage. <laughs> so, you know, of course, it's just a, it's just a game where, you, you know, in your head, it's 20% more. So when you see uh, these estimated fuel economy numbers for Canadian cars, versus when they're tested in the United States. The numbers always seem bigger. So the Honda Civics always seem like they get better gas mileage. But that being said, uh, the, the number one thing I have learned that you can do when you're driving your motorhome, because I, I smoked up nearly 500 gallons of fuel. There's a couple simple, simple things. You don't have to do uh, you know weird additives or whiz-bang gadgets to add onto your car, because most of them are complete scams. What you need to do is plan your trip when you think the fuel is low, like I did. Um, if, you, if you're a snowbirder, or you're semi-retired, or you're retired, plan your trip when you think the fuel is going to be the cheapest. Now, you're never going to time the market. Nobody can time. If we could time the market, I could just buy, buy, buy and sell and trade commodities and become very wealthy. But, but you can make educated guesses. Like, for example, I'm going to make a very simple educated guess, and I'll see if I'm right later in the summer, that fuel in North America, on average, will go up. So if I was an, an actual RV owner who had my RV parked and I'm going to be using it in June or July, I would take my RV right now to the cheapest gas station and fill it up. You don't need to put a fuel additive to, for a stabilizer to put fuel in your tank that's only going to sit for a couple months. It's going to be fine. Fill it up now, you'll save a few bucks. 
at least that tank of fuel is going to do you the first 300 miles of your trip and save you something rather than nothing. Now, a lot of these fuel apps that we have, uh, uh, that of course I, I used some of them when I was on the, uh, the, uh, on the road. I don't want to push one over the other because that wouldn't be fair, but a lot, I found a lot of them aren't always accurate in terms of the numbers. They'll say fuel's at a certain price at a certain location, but it hasn't been updated in a while. But you can do something really, really low tech, and this works for smaller and mid-sized towns. Quite often, when you are exiting in uh, anywhere town in America to buy fuel, you, of course, in an RV, you're going to buy a lot of fuel compared to a car because you, you, have, you have a big tank. When you pull off the freeway, there's always several stations right in that direct vicinity. Scan your head over to the other side of the interstate because I guarantee you the, there's a price differential on the three or four stations that are in your direct vicinity. And you just do some rubbernecking and quickly glance over. Hey, if Exxon's four cents lower than uh, you know the truck stop, you go there and pay cash. Do not try to pay more for a credit charge on your card unless you have no choice or of course use your credit card if there is no difference between cash cash prices and uh, the uh, credit price and like anybody says for any vehicle the most simplest cost-effective way of getting maximum fuel mileage is driving slower it's very simple it's physics drive slower when you're pushing a brick <laughs> through <laughs> through the air like uh, most motorhomes are essentially just large objects with really ba bad drag drive slower and the optimum mileage I've ever ever clocked is doing around 90 kilometers an hour maybe around 55 miles per hour the quicker you go just it's less efficient I know it sucks to go slow it takes you longer but if you want maximum efficiency that's what you got to do and avoid jackrabbit starts it's not even so much about your weight. These people who drain all their tanks, you know, it's foolish. You know, 30 gallons of water is going to weigh 300 pounds. Big deal. Your rig weighs, you know, 12, 15, or 20,000 pounds. That 300 pounds is nothing. I would just clean out all the extra crap you don't need. But make sure you're comfortable. That water will add to your comfort when you stop in the middle of somewhere and you shit your pants and you need a shower. Trust me. <laughs> And, you know, we're all getting older. Shit can happen, uh, literally and figuratively. So be comfortable. Enjoy the things like basic necessities like water. It's prudent. And uh, the other simple mechanical thing you can always do is check your air pressure on your four, six, eight, or more tires, depending on what your rig has. It is cheap. Many of you people have your own compressors or onboard compressors. It's not really going to do much to make sure your tires have maximum rolling efficiency. And that can save you 2 or 4% immediately or more, depending on your, how low your inflation rate is. So, that being said, folks, keep your wheels on the ground. And if you have any legitimate tips to increase driving efficiency that you can share with the rest of us uh, RVers and future RVers, I welcome you to make those comments below. So, wheels on the ground, stay safe. And Never gonna stop. No, 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 no. Hey.